Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Ken from Brooks Burdan. This is our store manager, Rick Vitas, and we're here to open a big box of Jadis. Jadis are hand-built units in France, but before we get to that, let me ask you to do us a favor. Please like our videos, subscribe to our channel. It's really been blowing up lately. Thanks for all the comments, and ring the little bell so you get a notification next time we do a video. We ordered this uh, about five or six weeks ago. It is a PA100. You know, for people that are big Jadis fans, they'll remember the Defi 7. It was very well regarded and, and it was for Jadis a very uh, cost efficient or cost effective way to get into 100 watts of excellent handcrafted tube amplifier that sounds amazing for a reasonable price. And those used units are still coveted today. We, work, we service them on a regular basis. So we're going to dig into this thing and, and get it out. All right, let's do it. After much work and heavy lifting, because this thing's built like a tank, um, we have it out of the box and out of the bag, and Rick's got all the tubes ready to go in. And before I put the tubes in, uh, I want to mention that the tubes have specific locations. These tubes are tested and burned in, and then they're burned in in this unit in a specific spot. So we want to put all the tubes back exactly where they go when this was originally assembled at the factory. And fortunately, uh, even though I don't read French, I was able to decipher the manual. It's, it's actually in English. So we're going to be putting in the KT120s in the back. In the front, there are uh, three input tubes for each channel, a total of uh, 12, uh, a total of six input tubes, and those are ECC82s and ECC83s, which here we often refer to as 12AU7, 12AX7. Did I get yes. that right? Mm -hmm. Rick's confirming because I'm easily confused. Okay, let's put some in. Just got the last tube in. We've been very careful to make sure we get all these tubes in exactly the right spot. As I explained earlier, that can be very critical to the performance of the unit. Another thing to mention about this unit is that it can be strapped for different speaker resistance. So we can do four, six, eight, up to 16 ohm taps. That's adjustable. Um, on the front, we have on off we have operate and standby. So when you first turn this unit on, you'll leave it in standby for a good three to five minutes while it lets the filaments warm up. That helps preserve the length uh, of life that we have in the tubes by not jolting them on right away. Okay, we're ready to do more with this amp, so we're going to take it out of here. Here we go. We're in the sound room, and we call this sound room the Palladium. I have the Jadis PA100 uh, set up here. And interestingly enough, we're right in front of a pair of monoblock Jadis JA120s. Um, these also use six tubes per channel for a total of 12 tubes. Whereas these are class A, this is class AB. This unit at $14,900, which is not cheap by any stretch of the imagination, but when you compare this to some of the competition for audiophile tube amps that we see out there, it really, performance and sound, it, sh it starts to look like a real bargain. So I'm going to turn the amplifier on, and it's in the standby position right now. We're going to have it warm up a little bit, and then we'll flip it to on and start listening. The sound signature of this amplifier is a really wonderful natural tonal balance. It's punchy, it's realistic, it feels musically alive. 
We are running it with KT-120s. That's how we ordered it from Jadis of France. But it can also be done with kt 88 is a common configuration. 150 watts per channel. I have had let this warm up a little bit before we started the film in here. So I'm going to prematurely, I would let it sit and warm for a little bit longer. I'm going to switch it to operate. We're going to play some music and give it a listen. Doesn't that just sound lively and alive? I'll tell you, this amp is really amazing. We took this into the service department and uh, we did some testing. We looked at the internals, beautiful craftsmanship, point to point wiring um, that uses solid copper rails. It doesn't look like a spaghetti factory in there. Um, I also wanna say that that was I Never Loved a Girl by Ronnie Shannon uh, on video. It's 180 gram vinyl and I'd love to hear what you guys think. Please leave comments, write us, call us at the store, looking for some feedback. Want to make sure we mention we were listening to the SME turntable, that's the Model 20 with the Lyra Etna cartridge, Magico S3 Mark II speakers, all part of the system, and the Jadis JP80MC. That was our tube preamp for this demonstration. Thank you all for watching, really appreciate it. We have lots of other videos from the store, so I hope you'll look at those. Please sign up with a subscription to our channel, like our videos, ring the bell so you get a notification. Thank you very much.